When it comes to COVID vaccines, a lot of attention has really been centered on those made in the West. But Russia's Sputnik V might deserve some attention. Bloomberg Intelligence's Director of Research, Sam Fazeli, is here with more. Sam, thanks for being here. Um, Russia is fifth on the list of vaccine makers with the most doses under contract. Based on your research, would you take the Sputnik V vaccine? That's a very, very good question. I mean, uh, look, we haven't seen any published data, and by that I mean any data that's published in a peer-reviewed scientific journal or medical journal as we have seen for Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna, and even some early uh, data from phase one, two trials for Sinovac, for example. But given what I believe the design of the vaccine is, given what we've seen in terms of the flow of data from this um, of interim analyses of the vaccine, um, if um, I had the opportunity to take a vaccine and it was this one or, say, for example, the Sinovac one, I would choose the Russian one. Why would you choose the Russian one over the Sinovac one? Well, the Sinovac um, vaccine, um, in terms of the d data that's come out, we've had press releases and various numbers announced, 50% to 90% efficacy, and then actually 91.5% efficacy, and then it comes out 78% efficacy, all communicated through weird, um, not weird, but through press releases as opposed to, uh, or, or, uh, or newspaper articles. So it just makes me sit back and think, mm, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see this data published in one place so that I can compare it all, all from different trials in different countries. Sputnik V was done in over 22,000 people, all in one country, all in one, from one institution. So a little bit easier to follow and, and understand. Where will these vaccines play a role apart from their home countries, China's Sinovac uh, and Russia's Sputnik V? Yeah, so I mean, if you look at the kind of deals that they've signed, both of the vaccines are... I mean, the, the, the Russian one, the, the Sputnik V, it doesn't necessarily have a um, fantastic um, cold, cold chain. It still requires a freezer. But I think that's likely to change with analysis they're doing that would therefore make it similar to the AstraZeneca one that requires the refrigerator. The Sinovac one also requires just the refrigerator. So they've already, the Sputnik V vaccine has already been uh, be, uh, signed up for use in India, obviously Russia. Brazil, Uzbekistan, Mexico, Egypt, clearly not the Western right. countries because we have an abundance of vaccines already from Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna, Astra, and soon hopefully Johnson & Johnson. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.